Hello beautiful people, thank you so much for tuning in, watching and listening. This is going to be the October 2022 pick a pile specific to love. And what I mean by that is you're going to pick a card pile or a crystal that you feel drawn to. And I'm going to pull three cards and a fourth bonus card to provide you a little bit more insight on love for the month of October. Uh, zodiac signs do not apply to these videos. Again, you're just going to pick whatever pile or crystal you feel drawn to. Um, but that being said, let's go and jump in and get started. Oh, really quick, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel already, please do so. Subscriptions help me greatly and you'll be no notified when I post new content. Um, let me zoom in on these here really quick. If you have not yet picked a pile or crystal, you can pi uh, pause the video and do that. But let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start on the very left side here, pile number one, the purple crystal. And on top here, we have purple opal. But let's see what cards we have coming through for pile number one. Actually move this to the side here make sure you can get a uh, almost all in inside there okay perfect pile number one let's see here at the top we have the nine of Pentacles the nine of Pentacles is a card of luxury self-sufficiency financial gain solo pleasures Two things that I want to hone in on here is the solo pleasures and self-sufficiency. I do feel some of you are alone currently. Um, but maybe you're trying to decide if you should stay in a relationship or leave a relationship, but you're feeling very self-sufficient at this time. Perhaps you're debating entering into a relationship even, but you're like doing your own thing and you're doing your own thing well. The next card that we have is the Two of Swords. The Two of Swords is a card of having to make a decision. And some of the underlying thought process with this is you feel like this decision could be a compromise. So again, it's like that, should I stay or should I go type energy? Or do I wanna enter into a relationship? Um, for whatever reason, it feels like you're questioning this decision because it feels like it could be a compromise. At the bottom here, we do have the Ten of Cups. For those of you that have watched my readings before, you know the Ten of Cups is totally my favorite card in the entire deck. We have a nice full rainbow here, a happy couple, kids playing, uh, the grass is green, water is running, there's a house in the background. This is a card of family, contentment, total love, and support. So I do see you being very happy in this relationship. So some of you staying in this relationship or entering into a relationship. But long term, I do think this is a good move. I see you growing a family together, getting a house together, being very happy together, pile number one. And let's pull our fourth bonus card here. We have the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is a card of speed, action, quick change. So all of this could really be happening quite quickly for you. Interestingly enough, too, the Eight of Wands is a card of social media. So it's like I see you like announcing your relationship on social media or announcing your growing family on social media. Uh, social media seems to be coming into play, but definitely things moving quickly here. Now let's take a look at pile number two, which is this light green card, and we have our moss agate here. Again, setting that to the side, but let's take a look at what we've got going on for pile number two. Okay, this is actually reading bottom to top, so I'm going to go ahead and read it that direction to you. My brain is just telling me that it's going this direction. The first card that we have is the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords is typically not very good relationships. This is bully, theft, violence, abusive, some sort of toxic relationship. Um, and I feel like for this pile, the majority of you have left this toxic relationship and you're waiting for another relationship. The Seven of Pentacles is a card of planning your pentacles and waiting for them to grow. So it's delayed success, it's waiting. It's patience. Um, for many of you, again, I feel like you've left this not very good relationship, but this is like you waiting and wondering if there is another relationship. 
At the top here we have the Nine of Cups though, and the Nine of Cups says wishes coming true. So for those of you hoping to enter into a relationship, I do see this happening for you. Um, whatever you've been waiting for uh, is going to start moving. Again, wishes coming true at the top. Let's go ahead and pull our fourth bonus card though and see what message we have here, pile number two. We have the Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles is very focused on decisions. This is having to make a choice, having to weigh your options. Um, I do think for some of you, you're just debating going back to this relationship because you feel like there may not be somebody else. Um, but you really need to weigh your options. Like, is this relationship going to get better? Is there somebody better out there for you? Think in terms of like, do you have the same long-term goals? Do you have the same financial goals? Uh, politics even, do you have similar political beliefs? I know that's a weird message. I'm just throwing it out there because that's what I hear. Um, but it's like you need to weigh your options about potentially going back to this relationship or continuing to wait. Regardless though, I do see your wishes coming true there. Pile number two, whatever you're wishing for. Now pile number three, we have this really nice blue card and on top we have a nice piece of Amazonite. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what messages we have here. The first card that we have is the Two of Pentacles. We were just talking about the Two of Pentacles in our second pile there. This is needing to weigh your options and weigh your decisions. Um, this is like thinking in terms of pros and cons. But definitely some sort of decision needs to be made around love for you, pile number three. The next card that we have is the Ace of Pentacles. Anytime we have an Ace card, it is a card of newness. Typically, the Ace of Pentacles is like money, job, raise, promotion, that type of energy. Um, but this could be like deciding to move in together, deciding to separate finances, deciding to conjoin finances. In general, though, this could be new relationship as well. Again, that Ace of Pentacles being newness. I do see some financial impact, though, for those of you uh, in an existing relationship. Again, money seems to be coming into a play here, but definitely a decision that needs to be made. I like at the bottom here, we have the Nine of Cups. Um, similar readings coming through here, actually, between all these cards. But again, the Nine of Cups is wishes coming true. So I don't know if you're wishing to be single. I don't know if you're wishing to be in a relationship, to grow your family, to get married, to get engaged whatever it may be, but the Nine of Cups is granting your wishes. So I do think that that's going to happen for you, pile number three. Um, there's some sort of decision that needs to be made, some sort of money or newness, but long term, I see you getting your wish. Let's take a look at our fourth card here. Our fourth card is the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is going to be a card of being very reliable, being very patient. Um, things could be taking a little bit longer than you want, so patience is a reminder here. You may need more time to make this decision, um, and you may need to give a little bit of time before your wish comes true, but uh, patience is key with the Knight of Pentacles there. Okay, thank you all so much for tuning in, watching, and listening. I hope that this, these uh, Pick a Pile, Pick a Crystal readings are valuable for you. I will say if you feel like you need more information leaving this reading, I would recommend you check out your Sun, Moon, and Rising Zodiac signs for this month. Um, but please do like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how this video resonated with you, how your pile resonated. Uh, subscriptions help me greatly. You'll be notified when I post new content, but also it helps me very, very much grow my channel. And if you feel inclined, I did include my Venmo in the comments box if you'd like to make a donation. But thank you so much, and I hope you have a wonderful month.